Hi, welcome to video 5B, week 5, lesson number 2, where we're talking about graphing trig. So, for these three questions, we're going to be graphing each function. Now, um, if you want to see the way that I've taught you once before using the formulas and all sorts of craziness, you surely can go back to those older videos. For this, because we are online and we're doing resources a little differently, I recognize that you really could just plug these in. So what I'd like you to do, instead of just let me go to desmos.com and plug everything in, what I'd rather you did is go ahead and plug it in, but graph the original function first, then change all of these crazy things around. So look at the original before the other. The way that this uh, these people have explained this is that they've graphed points, like specific period points of sign, um, and then they've graphed the like the original function, and then they graph the f of x function. So here, there's the original versus the new. They talk about the transformations just a little bit, and then they go ahead and graph it. It's kind of up to you how you want to attack this. Um, I recognize that sketching all this information out is rather simplistic, but I just hope that you kind of just get used to that transformation, recognizing what's happening with these brand new trigonometric functions that are, you know, brand new to you. So next question, we're dealing with tangent this time. So versus the sine cosine, which just look like that wave that you guys are used to. Uh, tangent's got that funky, oops, I don't know what I was drawing before, but those funky S's that we got going on. So as you can see, plotted some points, plotted the, plotted the actual points. So these are plot points of tan of x at negative a half, or negative pi over 2, negative pi over 4, 0, pi over 4, pi over 2. And then these are the actual g of x functions plugged in at 0, pi over 4, pi over 2, pi over 4, and pi. And again, those are points that make sense if you really understand trigonometric functions and their periods. Here, I just kind of want you to get used to things, get feel comfortable with transformations and what the original so in this one, you'd be graphing the original tan, and then you'd be graphing this function as well. And our last question is secant. So secant is the opposite of cosine. So if cosine looks like this, secant is just going to kiss at every point and be the opposite function, right? It's the reciprocal function. So then they plug in secant, then they plug in actual h of x. They went ahead and graphed it. For you guys, it's more important that as you're playing around on Desmos, the first thing you do is just graph positive secant x. Then you graph this h of x function. That's all I've got for you guys.